Hi, my name is David Wren. I'm the Vice President of Technology for Spin Launch, and today we're at Spaceport America in southern New Mexico at our suborbital flight test facility. Spin Launch is developing a new way to get to space. We're using electricity to accelerate vehicles up to high velocities to significantly reduce the amount of fuel, structures, and rocket systems that are required to enter orbit. Today's flight test will be flying at 1,200 miles per hour up to about 30,000 feet with our three meter long flight test vehicle. We'll start by integrating the vehicle, pumping the system down, removing the atmosphere from the vacuum chamber, and then when the subsystem checks are all good, we'll accelerate the system and conduct the flight. So on launch day, my role involves overseeing all of the systems, the engineers that run them and the build team, as well as ensuring the safe operation of the entire system. A typical flight test first begins with attaching the projectile. Then we insert any test payloads for that day, attach the counterweight, seal off the vacuum system. Then we begin turning on all the support systems. We turn on the water systems for cooling. We turn on the vacuum systems to begin pumping down the chamber. We start heating and enabling all of the oil systems to run the drive. Once all systems are green and we're down to vacuum pressure, then we will turn on the drive system. We will bring the tether and the projectile up to idle speed. We run a diagnosis check. And then once we get clearance for the airspace for launch, we will then accelerate up to our target launch velocity, enable the exit system. Well, once all systems go green, we then launch. Arm release, arm release, enable countdown. Enabling countdown. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Release. We are at minus 10 seconds from Apogee. Disable floodlights. Disabling floodlights. Pressure is nominal. Taper down. Water break. To speed. All right. Good release. So as you just saw, we had another successful test flight today. It was our seventh flight on this suborbital system. We launched at 1,200 miles per hour, which is the fastest speed to date that we've operated this system here in Spaceport America. We traveled up to about 30,000 feet, and after about a minute of flight, uh, the flight test vehicle impacted the ground, and we actually dug it up, and it's ready for reuse. We're gonna to continue to push the envelope and provide more behind the scenes flight test footage as our test flight campaigns continue. Thank you.